there is a free Arduino simulator made by one of the most popular computer-aided design companies in the world. The simulator is called Tinkercad, and some people love it, and some people hate it. Tinkercad is great because you can easily build circuits using a virtual Arduino and a virtual breadboard. And in the same interface, you can also write code that will run on that simulated Arduino. It's fantastic. And this is great because you can immediately watch your circuit and code in action. You can even interact with the circuit components while the simulation is running. So if it's got a temperature sensor, you can adjust the temperature on the sensor and see how the circuit responds. If it's got a button, you can press the button and see what happens. Or if it has a distance sensor, you can modulate that distance. It's pretty cool. What's even better though, is that Tinkercad is easy to use. You've probably used some software before where you open it up and there's like so many buttons, you want your brain, your brain just kind of like barfs out a little bit and you're like, how am I ever gonna figure out this software? It's a bit like overwhelming. Tinkercad's kind of the opposite of that. Basically, you have some parts on the right, you drag them to the left, and then you just use your mouse to connect them with wires. It's pretty darn intuitive. Programming the simulation is really simple too. All you have to do is click the code button in the top right, and then that shows you the code editor space, and then you can paste your code in there or write your code or however you wanna do it, and then you just click the simulate button, and then bam, there you go, your circuit is up and running. You even have access to the serial monitor and the serial plotter, and there's a built-in debugger. So what stuff can you use to simulate in this circuit? Well, they've got some general parts like resistors, capacitors, and diodes, that kind of thing. And then they have input components like buttons, potentiometers, sliders, photoresistors, photodiodes, flex sensors, force sensors, ultrasonic distance sensors, a tilt sensor, a temp sensor, soil moisture sensor, PIR sensor, gas sensor, and a 4x4 keypad. I probably missed something there, but you know, quite a few input components. For output components, they have things like LEDs, NeoPixel LEDs, and they've got the rings and the strings, DC motors with encoders, servos, piezo buzzers, IR remote, LCD displays, seven segment displays, and some really popular logic gates. They also have some other stuff, like simulated instruments you can use, like a multimeter, a power supply, a function generator, and an oscilloscope. And they've got a handful of integrated circuits like 555 timers and op amps. And they have different ways you can simulate powering the project, like with batteries or wall power. They even have potato and lemon batteries for those of us who want to prepare for the zombie apocalypse. What's also really handy about Tinkercad is they have these built-in circuit assemblies that include an Arduino. So you can drag a whole assembly in from the right, and they've got several different pre-built examples. But what's nice is they also come with example code to run on that circuit. So if you're trying to get familiar with the circuit and the code that might run with it, then that can be pretty handy. Along this line, and this is a huge benefit here, is that there are a ton of contributed circuit designs and code designs that people just make public on the platform. I'm talking thousands of different circuits that people out there have made. So if you're super lazy like me, what you can do is search for a similar circuit, pull that in, and then just make the adjustments you want and you're off to the races. Now there is one other thing that's sort of confusing about Tinkercad, but it's actually this huge bonus. When you go to the Tinkercad website to sign up, you'll notice that it actually looks like a tool that's for computer-aided design, like a CAD tool. Well, here's the deal. Before, I had mentioned that Tinkercad is made by a CAD company called Autodesk. And Autodesk is a huge name in the CAD industry. So when you sign up for your Tinkercad account, not only do you get the Arduino simulator that we've just been talking about, but you also get access to a streamlined CAD design tool. And all of this is completely free. This is not a freemium model or you know, you pay for more features or anything like that. This is free as in like, yep, you just sign up, that's it. The fact that you can get up and running so quickly, design these circuits, simulate the code, all for free is such a huge payoff. I really can't see any reason for not using it. But if Tinkercad's so great, why does it drive some people nuts? Well, here's the deal. It comes down to some limitations of Tinkercad, which are very real. So the first thing is even though there is quite a variety of components you can simulate, it's nowhere near the number of actual components, you know, out in the world. 
And so if you have something like a weight sensor perhaps, or an OLED display or something like that that you wanna simulate, if it's not already in the Tinkercad parts library, well, you're not gonna be able to simulate it. Another inconvenient drawback about Tinkercad is that you can't easily add additional Arduino libraries. If you wanna add in an Arduino library, you have to paste in your header file and your .cpp file into that sketch in order to pull it in. And that's totally doable, it's just a bit cumbersome. Now Tinkercad does include some built-in libraries. As of this writing, there's 14 libraries that you can pull from when you're simulating with Tinkercad. And since code libraries are somewhat the bread and butter of Arduino, this you know, can be pretty difficult. So let's say you wanted to simulate some IoT device that is pulling in a bunch of different libraries. Well, you're just not gonna be able to do it with Tinkercad. Another limitation you might run into is when you're trying to use dynamic real-time events, like if you're trying to time something in milliseconds and you need to either track an amount of time that passed very specifically or have an action take just a perfect amount of time, it won't be as precise as the real thing. Lastly, there's no downloadable version of Tinkercad. So it's only gonna work when you have a Wi-Fi connection. So you might be like, oh man, I, I thought Tinkercad was great, but then all those limitations. Well, let me tell you, I personally push back on those limitations. I am in the party of people who thinks Tinkercad is fantastic. It's designed for the beginner, it's easy to use, it's free, and yes, it has some ease of use trade-offs, Namely, there's not a ton of components that you can add and you can't easily add libraries, but hey, don't throw the simulator out with the bathwater. If you're new to Arduino and you wanna explore some basic circuits, this is the tool for you. Even if you're more experienced with Arduino and you just wanna quickly verify an idea, Tinkercad is a fantastic tool. Bottom line, the Tinkercad simulator is a tool you're gonna to wanna to have on your tool belt, probably right next to your grappling hook. And this is especially true for teachers who are trying to bring Arduino and circuit design into their classroom because Tinkercad has really made it easy to integrate Google Classroom, collaboration tools, and lesson plans. And again, it's totally free whether you just have a personal account or you've got your entire classroom on there. Now, the next video you're gonna wanna watch is this one right here. This Arduino in 90 minutes video is gonna give you everything you need to get up and running with Arduino fast.